Today was the second day of stars on ice in Yokohama. User Ohanyu showed his programs. What a charismatic and attentive musician he is. Some people have different programs and still have the same image. But user Ohanyu can be different, and most importantly, he's not afraid to be different. The audience was really loud today. Powerful in general. User Ohanyu is tired. It's very obvious. The workload is crazy. He needs to rest. Of course, as always. Beautiful, happy, and free. For him, this tour is an endurance workout, which is necessary in future solos. He shows it already with a great final four tolor with a foppish swing, and the most beautiful complex stunts in the training. You can see in the slow-mo that he has a smile and a look in place. Everything is fine, he will rest for two more days, a little bit. Yuzuru Hanyu wasn't on fire today. Rolled great, but didn't burn inside. Tired, I think. Or the mood was different. But he bowed and rode away with style, that's for sure. Never mind. Tomorrow he will ride philosophically calm dragon, and on the last day let him ride Ashura again. This time with real fire. He's getting high from the way he's being received in the arena. You can see it in his eyes. But there's no hiding the fatigue, either. His eyes are tired, but he's very happy. I hope after this show to fantasy on ice will rest. Some interesting facts about the attentiveness of Yuzuru Hanyu and his team. When fans were having trouble buying tickets for Yuzuru Hanyu's show, his side learned about it and made a suggestion on how to improve the situation. Even as he prepared, he thought about the fans. After the Beijing Olympics, a cafe specializing in cheesecake Mori no Tono Chizu Kechi Kobo Yuzuki in Sendai sold Yuzu Ohanyu cake in gratitude to Yuzu Ohanyu using a special Yuzu grown in Rikuzen Takada, a weight prefecture, and which is a symbol of the rebuilding of that city, which was severely damaged by the tsunami in 2011. Yuzu Ohanyu, who learned of this, contacted the establishment, which led to a nice commotion among the staff. Backstage video of Stars on Ice 2023. A little bit of the inside life of Stars on Ice 2023 from Madison Chalk and Luna Hendricks publications. User Ohanyu flies in a jump like an endless stream, even in training, not paying attention to any obstacles whirlwind. All difficulties aside, there is no adversity, I want and I do. Because it's because it can't be otherwise, a dream can't just disappear. It flies away effortlessly into the sky. Yuzu Ohanyu has always been, is and will always be the most carsable jump in figure skating. The internal life of the show is very intense, fun and friendly. Everyone's jumps are kind of athletic, but Yuzu Ohanyu's are the art of the most beautiful jumps in the world. Maddie and Evan said on their podcast that it was like they were traveling with the Beatles. Fans of Yuzu Ohanyu met the plane still on the street, and on the way the trains were standing in stations. Also that they are fans of his, never seen anything like it, a great honor, and that he has visibly improved as a figure skater. Such a curious video, how you can be so humble and modest, sitting in a corner and waving your hands sweetly and then come out and raise the audience and listen to the roar of the audience. I am amazed. TBS will be broadcasting SWA on April 15th, this will be a cut of day 3 of the show in Yokohama, April 8th. Yuzu Ohanyu is announced to appear on NHK Tohoku News on Friday April 14th. Yuzu Ohanyu also spoke about his attempt to become the first skater to perform the revolutionary four and a half turn jump. I want to keep pursuing this goal to demonstrate my success to the fans. I am determined to train to reach a new level, including performing the quadruple axle and fully conforming to my idea of the ideal skater, emphasized Yuzu Ohanyu. Although he failed at the Beijing Games, Yuzu Ohanyu calls that experience great. I didn't feel any pain after the painkiller shots, so I had nothing to fear and I could give it my all, the skater said, continuing. I'm still practicing the quadruple axle. Now I know more and see what it takes to do it. I am learning something new every day during the show. I am very happy to be able to continue to improve. During the Beijing games, I struggled to get a level higher, 
but now I feel like I've achieved that, so please don't write me off. I want to reach new heights as a competitor, as a professional, as an athlete, although the lines between those three categories are very blurred. My feelings haven't changed, I want to keep working hard to achieve my dream. I take my role as an athlete seriously and want to succeed in the quadruple axle for all to see," said Yuzuru Hanyu. After a brilliant performance at a top-level figure skating competition, Yuzuru Hanyu walks away satisfied. I followed my dream, part of which was to make it to the Olympics. Having achieved success at the Olympics, I see that I have created a kind of legacy that serves both as proof of my previous efforts and as a foundation for my new efforts. I'm sure I won't miss the intense atmosphere I felt during the competition. As a professional, I will try to perform in a way that conveys to the fans the feeling that everything is on the line so that they will continue to support me. Yuzuru Hanyu said that being under the scrutiny of the public and meeting the expectations of fans around the world is not easy. Being Yuzuru Hanyu is a burden, and it's a burden I've felt for a long time. But I've always tried to live up to other people's expectations of me, so I will continue to do my best to meet those expectations. I've never been satisfied with the state of things and I've always wanted to improve. This feeling of always wanting to improve gives me joy and allows me to keep skating. Figure skating is my life. For me, it's not about records or getting points, I'm just trying to do my thing so I can achieve something better time after time. Fans eager to know what their favorite skater will do next will have to be patient. There are already certain plans, but I'm not ready to talk about them yet. I think there will be an opportunity to reach a modern audience with new ways of showing figure skating. I hope I can attract even those who wouldn't normally watch figure skating," Yuzuru Hanyu shared. I participated in the Pyeongchang Games when I was 23 years old, and now I feel like I've grown significantly. Now I know the physical and mental effort I need to put in, and I feel like I'm skating at my best. I don't know if I will continue to skate in my 30s, 40s, but I am very happy that the age limits in this sport may disappear in the future," says the skater.